Psychologist Harry Harlow conducted a series of now-renowned studies on the importance of touch. He took baby rhesus monkeys away from their mothers and gave them a surrogate. The surrogate could be a simple structure made of wire and wood, or it could be made of foam rubber and terry cloth. The wire mother also had a bottle that the monkeys could drink from, but the monkeys chose to cling to the cloth mother for comfort, even though this would make them dehydrate or starve. Touch was even more important to these monkeys than food. But what about us humans? Most of us are familiar with the concept of skin-to-skin -skin contact and how important it is for newborn babies. Numerous research studies show that skin-to-skin -skin contact stimulates a specific part of the newborn's brain, which encourages them to attach and begin feeding. Skin-to-skin -skin contact has also been linked to better abilities to absorb and digest nutrients, maintain body temperature, have a more stable heartbeat and breathing, have improved brain function and development over time, and have stronger immune systems. And for adults too, there is growing evidence that touch, especially from a romantic partner, buffers us against stress. A 2006 study on hand-holding found that married women had smaller neural threat responses when holding their partner's hand than when holding a stranger's hand or not holding hands at all. Humans, like most other mammals, are social animals. We seek out other humans to interact with, play with, laugh with, and make love with. All of those activities involve touching of some kind, including hugs, handshakes, high fives, and other, more intimate gestures. Research shows again and again that touching is a vital human activity. The famous painter and Renaissance artist Michelangelo once said, to touch can be to give life. Human touch is one of the activities that sets us apart from many of the Earth's other creatures. Yes, primates do it, as do some species of animals, but for humans, touch is vitally important. Indeed, it's one of the core characteristics that make humans human and is ingrained into the very fiber of our beings. A huge amount of research shows that not being touched can be very harmful. In 1994, a study in Romania showed that children who lived in institutions and didn't get much human touch had serious problems with their development. At the time, thousands of children were in orphanages, and the vast majority had mental and physical health problems, mostly due to not being cuddled, stroked, and hugged. Indeed, many of them were found to have been left alone for days and weeks, at a time in their lives when touch is crucial. The lack of touch was extremely detrimental to both their physical and mental health. At this point, you may be asking yourself, but why is touch so important? Well, there are several reasons. For example, when humans touch, the orbitofrontal cortex of the brain is activated. This part of the brain is closely linked to compassion, happiness, and reward sensations. Touch also activates the vagus nerve, which releases the hormone oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone. The more we touch, the more of this hormone and the positive emotions it causes are produced. Touch is also the way humans build relationships, both in their personal and professional lives. It brings about cooperation and trust and is used to create alliances and friendships. According to one study, patients who had their partners stroke their arms while undergoing an MRI for a brain scan experienced significantly less anxiety and stress. Just this small amount of touch was enough to turn off, if you will, the switch that made them frightened and stressed. Decker Keltner, a psychology professor at the University of California, Berkeley, says that touch is the fundamental language of connection. It brings us together, helps us form lasting bonds, and gives us a sense of well-being and security. Hugging, holding hands, and other forms of non-sexual touch have been shown to reduce stress, calm fears, and make people feel content. Touching has even been shown to boost immunity and make a person less susceptible to things like germs and viruses. Need more proof that touch is essential? How about the fact that, when people kiss, chemicals in their saliva let them know if their new love interest is compatible or not? That's especially true for women, as it helps them choose the best partner. Speaking of chemicals, activities like hugging, petting, and other forms of touching increase your serotonin and dopamine levels. These neurotransmitters regulate mood, help the human body relieve stress, and reduce anxiety levels. A 2004 breast cancer study showed that, when provided massage therapy, patients had an almost immediate, positive reaction. They had lowered anxiety levels, stress levels, and even pain levels. Their moods improved also, and the number of essential lymphocytes in their bodies increased. 
Massage therapy has been found to significantly reduce physical and psychological stress and is recommended for the treatment of mental health problems. What are the benefits of hugging, cuddling, and other forms of touching? We've talked about how important touch is for humans, especially children, and why it's ingrained into the very fabric of humanity. Now let's take a look at some of the actual, real-world benefits that hugging and other forms of non-sexual touching provide. Improved heart health. Hugs and cuddles have been shown to reduce blood pressure and heart rate. That's vitally important for seniors, especially, and can provide them with a much higher quality of life. Decreased pain. The same study showed that hugs reduced the pain of people suffering from fibromyalgia. Other studies have shown, as we previously mentioned, that touch is able to reduce pain in cancer patients and others suffering from the effects of various diseases. Enhanced communication. Although most human communication is done verbally or through the expressions on our faces, human touch has been found to enable us to communicate a wide variety of emotions. Pain, sadness, love, fear, and more are expressed when you hug someone, as well as feelings of comfort and connectivity. Reduced stress. We've touched on this already, pun intended, but it's worth repeating. Hugs, cuddles, and other types of touch can significantly reduce stress and anxiety levels. Hugs are exceptionally healthy in this way, creating an immediate response that makes the giver and receiver both feel less stressed. Less fear. One excellent benefit of hugging, cuddling, and touching is that they can help allay a person's fear, especially of death. This is especially true for seniors, who may be approaching the end of their lives. Right now, around the world, millions of people are what scientists deem, touch-deprived, and that's not good. As we've seen, touch, especially hugs, cuddles, and even handshakes, are vitally important to our physical and emotional well-being. They help us connect with each other and communicate better. They also help reduce pain, fear, and anxiety and give us a sense of self-worth and contentment. In other words, touch, including hugging, cuddling, and handshakes, is still essential. That goes for you, as well as everyone in your social circle. Friends, family, colleagues, and even complete strangers, when acceptable, can all benefit from more of this trait that makes us all human. Our recommendation is that, whenever possible and when permitted, give hugs and cuddles freely and liberally. The benefits of doing so can have a greater positive impact than you might realize. Hi, I'm Amy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.